Quarter of the federal government now shut down lawmakers and President Trump failing to reach an agreement on funding for the border wall. The fight setting up a tense few days ahead as lawmakers in the White House continue talks. Hundreds of thousands of federal employees wondering how long the shutdown will last. Our Bailey Miller joining us live now in studio with more Bailey. Megan, this shutdown will impact 800,000 government employees and some who are deemed essential will have to work without pay until this is settled. National parks like Yosemite, Sequoia and Kings Canyon will remain open, but some services will be limited. A partial government shutdown has begun after President Trump and Congress could not make a decision on funding for the border wall. Before the shutdown, Congressman Jim Costa said there was a lot of last minute negotiating. Now they have to wait. We are waiting for the Senate to act on the bill that the House sent them. Uh, yesterday. Costa says if the Senate comes up with a clean measure to send over to Congress, then they will vote on it. But he doesn't believe the border wall will get the votes. Funding will run out for nine federal agencies that employ 800,000 people and 400,000 plus employees, including Border Patrol and TSA agents, are among those who will be furloughed. There is never any good reason to shut down government. President Trump has warned this will be a long shutdown, but KC24's legal analyst Don Larson disagrees. I don't think it'll be a long shutdown because I think the pressure is going to be enormous across the board. He says this shutdown is a crucial moment for both parties, and he says because Democrats don't have the majority until January, they need to be precise if they want something done. This is not just a we aren't going to do anything kind of situation. The Democrats have to show that they are willing to do certain things or make things happen. And we did reach out to Republicans in our valley. Congressman Valadeo and Nunes did not have a comment for us, and the lawmakers will be back in session tomorrow. Live in the studio, I'm Bailey Miller, KC24, local news that matters.